and welcome back to megzone in the previous lecture we have already finished with uh, the various terms like break specific fuel consumption amount of heat energy which is produced by the burning of fuel indicated thermal efficiency break thermal efficiency and so on and from today we shall be starting with our discussion on working of a two stroke petrol engine and we see that in case of a two stroke petrol engine it is actually having a double acting piston no valves are used here but rather we are using three ports the first is the inlet then is the exhaust and then is the transfer port so inlet port is always open except when the piston is near the bottom dead center except when piston is near the bottom dead center and the transfer port and exhaust ports are open at the same time so these two ports are actually open at the same time why two stroke scooters are not currently used this question is why two stroke scooters are not currently used this was the question that was asked to one of our friends in ongc interview now we know that the two stroke scooters were first introduced in japan and japan is a very small sized country and because of the leakage of the fresh air fuel mixture during the stroke during the exhaust stroke that is why we are not using these two stroke scooters because there is a problem of leakage of the fresh air fuel mixture during the exhaust stroke and this process is called as scavenging okay scavenging is a process in which the leakage of the air fuel mixture which is fresh during the exhaust stroke takes place okay so <coughs> so double acting that i have discussed is double acting simply means that there are actually two strokes and it would be free of blow by losses so no blow by losses are here we are not going to have any blow by losses okay and no piston rings are being used here no piston rings are used in this case therefore liquid lubricant liquid lubricant is used okay we are using the liquid lubricant and the main problem with the liquid lubricant is that that li lubricant which is lick oil or liquid in nature upon burning upon burning it produces or it leads to frictional losses which are actually increased to a very high value and hence the overall efficiency is less and this is also a polluting system yahan se pollution bhi kafi zyada hota hai kyunki lubricant jo oil hota hai wo hamara heat ke sath burn karne lagta hai aur jab lubricant hi nahi bachega to hamara definitely friction losses kafi zyada ho jate hain yahan par hamara koi cam nahi use hota koi कैम शाफ्ट नहीं यूज होती और कोई वाल्व्स नहीं होता तो इसके कारण इसका जो डिजाइन है इट इज सिंपल सो इट इज हैविंग अ सिंपल डिजाइन ओके इट इज हैविंग अ सिंपल डिजाइन ओके तो ये था हमारा डीजल और पेट्रोल और अगर पोल्यूशन की बात करें इफ यू टॉक अबाउट पोल्यूशन तो वो हमारा डीजल इंजन में ज्यादा होता है एज कंपेयर टू द पेट्रोल इंजन द पोल्यूशन इन केस ऑफ द डीजल इंजन इज मोर एज कंपेयर टू दैट ऑफ द पेट्रोल इंजन सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट पोल्यूशन हियर सो पोल्यूशन इज मेनली बिकॉज ऑफ टू थिंग्स वन मे बी अनबर्न हाइड्रोकार्बन विच इज ऑल्सो कंस्टिट्यूटिंग द फ्रेश एयर फ्यूल मिक्सचर और इट मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ द बर्न ल्यूब्रिकेंट it may be because of the burnt lubricant okay and this is actually leading to the decrease in the mechanical efficiency okay 
and if we discuss about the use of flywheel so flywheel if it is big then it is used for four stroke engine and a small flywheel is actually employed for a two stroke engine okay for same power four stroke engine has p max then two stroke engine has 1.6 times for p max so four stroke engine may अगर P max power develop हो रही है, तो two stroke में हमारा 1.6 times of P max develop हो जाती है। तो power frequency of two stroke is greater than the power frequency of the four stroke। ठीक है? Power frequency of two stroke is greater than the power frequency of four stroke। Now what we will do is we will see a comparison between the two stroke petrol four stroke petrol and four stroke diesel engines okay so we will see now the comparison between the two stroke si four stroke si and four stroke ci engine so in matter of pollution uh, the pollution in case of two stroke petrol engine is highest and hence it is placed first then pollution is higher in case of four stroke ci and the least pollution is obtained in the case of four stroke si now the maximum power which is developed would be definitely by the two stroke si then the maximum power is for four stroke si and then it is produced by four stroke ci the subsets are the two stroke si then we will go for four stroke si and this one is for four stroke ci now the power developed the power developed would be highest in case of four stroke ci then for this and then for this okay now if we talk about the brake thermal efficiency okay if we talk about the brake thermal efficiency the brake thermal efficiency is highest in case of four stroke ci then we have four stroke si and least in the case of two stroke s i engines okay so hamare agar baat kare si engines ke bare mein if we are talking about si engines or ci engines to si engines mein hamara omega zyada hota hai aur torque hota hai kam whereas ci engines mein omega kam hota hai aur torque hota hai zyada they are mainly used for fast speed applications and they are mainly used for carrying large load capacities theek hai and peak power if we talk about peak power is more for four stroke engine okay so here power frequency of si is greater than power frequency of c i so we have to remember that the power frequency of si is greater as compared to the power frequency of ci so if we talk about the four stroke engine when the exhaust valves or exhaust port in case of exhaust valve in case of four stroke or exhaust port in case of two port two stroke engine is open then major portion of the exhaust gases goes out and heat rejection is taking place at constant volume but the remaining expanded gases are forced out of the engine through the piston or by the fresh air fuel mixture matlab kuch part jo hota hai hamara expanded gases ka wo air fuel mixture bhi bahar nikalta hai and this process is called as the scavenging this process is called as scavenging so about 10% jo hamari gases hai 10% of exhaust gases are being forced out they are being forced out of the cylinder by the air fuel mixture itself and this process is called as the scavenging theek hai this process is called as scavenging to ek bahut important point hai ki scavenging in case of two stroke or in case of four stroke to two stroke case mein it is done by fresh air fuel mixture and this here it is done by the piston yahan par ye piston kaam karega and 
this is done by the air fuel mixture and they both are actually prevented by crowning they are prevented by crowning okay so to prevent the air fuel mixture to go out of the cylinder during the scavenging process we are actually using the crowning a crowning is actually a solid upward projection or a body which is provided over the piston head okay and the other side of the crank rod is always heavier in mass there is a note point and the note point is the other side of the crank rod is always heavier in mass and it balances the thermal forces which are acting at the end of the connecting rod and it is also behaving like a fly wheel okay so these are the two very important points with regard to the crank rod okay now we will see some advantages of the two stroke engine okay some advantages of the two stroke engine is there is no involvement of valve no cam is used no cam shaft is used and hence the cost of this system is less the cost of this system is less and all these factors are actually contributing to simple mechanical design they are actually corresponding to or they are leading to the simple mechanical design such that fly wheel is also small and hence inertia is less and power frequency power frequency is high okay and if we talk about the specific size then specific size was simply size upon power and since the size is small power is high so this is also leading to compact and cheap design with high power frequency and where it is being used it is used in the marine applications it is used in the marine applications and it is also used in two stroke compression ignition engines so these were the advantages and one more place where it is used it is also used in loco motives it is used in the loco motives now disadvantages we will discuss this advantages and the biggest its advantages it is highly polluting it is highly polluting the two stroke engines are highly polluting and power density as we all know it is greater in case of compression engine as compared to the spark ignition engine and efficiency of the diesel is greater than efficiency of the auto why because we are having the higher value of compression ratio and hence the efficiency is larger and we have also discussed about the power we have also discussed about the efficiency and which is the most polluted engine the most polluted is two stroke ci engine is the most polluted and which is the fastest engine it is four stroke si it is the fastest device okay and which device is having the highest power frequency it is two stroke SI is having highest power frequency okay it is having a very high power frequency and most powerful kaun sa ho gaya most powerful in terms of load capacity bhi jiski zyada ho plus overall efficiency bhi jiski zyada ho wo hai hamara four stroke CI so all these datas you definitely have to be remembered because ye jo hai ye kabhi na kabhi kahin na kahin interviews mein bhi pooch liya jata hai so with this we come to the end of this entire subject and i have tried to cover each and everything within the least number of lectures and i hope that you people have really enjoyed my lectures so if you are really enjoying it kindly give us your valuable feedbacks and 
share your problems with us you can share your problems with us on our youtube channel or also on our facebook page we are also available on facebook and you can message us and we shall be reverting you within 48 hours and we shall also be uploading very soon the full length test series of different coachings so that you may have an ample amount of practice for different types of questions that are being asked in the different test series and also face the difficulty levels so thank you so much do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned